Hey, what is up guys? So it is that time to open up a box of Dimension of Chaos. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, this was actually sent to me by my team. Super special, awesome cards. We actually got top 8 at the last YCS. If you guys want to check out that deck profile uh, for some Necroz, I'll put it also down below in the description box, but uh, pretty sweet stuff. So I know some of you guys were asking me, uh, what's this website? Uh, if you guys want to check out the website that we've got, it's superspecialawesomecards.com. I'll link it down below in the description box as well. But yeah, it's, uh, we got a team and we got there's a website. It's pretty cool. Anyways, go out, go ahead and open up this box. Heck yeah. All right, so what we're hoping to pull is uh, the Dark Destroyer. The Dank Destroyer. We got to get one of those. All right. So uh, this is actually like the... The third box that I think I've opened already. So we'll go kind of fast through like some of the uh, commons and some of the cards that we've already seen before. So we got Swallow Rebord, Duty Connect, Psychic Blade, Skilled Red Magician, Despot Jet, the Soul Horns, Grail Impact, and Dark Contract with the Gate for our first pack. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set everything aside. I actually don't need to pull apart some of the commons anymore. I pretty much have gotten all the commons. <laughs> Except for I think with like Dark Destroyer, I only got like two or three of them and I've opened up several boxes but uh, anyways next up I got this uh, Ignite Veteran with a black one. Ooh, a Vector! This is actually a really good card too. Uh, so we got one of those. That's a great card. Gradle Alligator. I kind of want to build Gradles actually. <laughs> like I know that they're not that great uh, alone but I feel like um, they can be pretty good if maybe you mix them with Kaijus because a lot of the monsters now in this game are like you can't you can't target them you can't do anything to them so I felt like they kind of got overshadowed like they just got like completely uh, power cre crept and like they just came out we got the Fox Raid Raptors oh man I remember when uh, that deck was like getting a lot of hype plush fire that's a great common I'm gonna set that one aside just because most people that play are gonna be playing multiple anyway so it's it's a pretty de decent little like, common card. Alright, next pack. We got the uh, Drum, Dark Contract, Magic Spectre. Oh, we got the Princess, all Fluffle Wings, one of my favorite cards out of this set. Um, just because uh, I, Fluffles, they're, they're, they're kind of good. No, man. <clears throat> I know a lot of the stuff, like, again, like everything just power crept uh, everything in the game. Got that DDD Contract change. Alright, let's see what we get here. Samurai Thief, I like that card too. That card's a really cool card. Uh, we got the Splash Mammoth. Oh, Great Alligator. Some Eagle. Oh, Grand Horn of Heaven. I think that's another great common out of this set. Uh, I really expected that card to be Seeker. Right? <laughs> Alright, next pack. Alright, so we got the uh, Soul Claw, Headlong, Wild Turtle, Capture Mission, the Abyss, the King. Alright, oh, yeah, the King Abyss. So yeah, maybe maybe we'll get enough cards, and I can make like a, a little budget uh, Gradle deck. I think the only card that's uh, foil, I believe, it, well, there's two cards. There's, there's the extra deck card, uh, which is the Synchro, and there's also the like one that lets you special someone from like the deck, Laundering, Magic Spectre Storm. So oh, we got the Unicorn uh, DDD. Oh, um, Cosmolite. I actually don't think this card is that bad um, because it does piercing. Uh, I don't know if you guys have played against uh, Magic Spectres, but they just sit there in defense mode like all day, like, oh man, you ain't gonna kill me. And uh, that can help out, especially with like Farm Girl. If you're able to uh, deal piercing, you know, twice, um, that can be pretty good. You get double searches. So at the Moon, that Shuffle Reborn, Death Spot, Grail Split, uh, then we rank up Raid Force, pretty good. We got the Yada Grasso. <laughs> so, uh, so far we got one good card, but we got, we still got tons of packs, guys, so. Looking forward to that Dark Destroyer. Pretty much that's what we're looking for. We got the Swirl Slime, the Cobra, Swamp King, Soul Claw, Pendulum Era. Ooh! Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. I know I know that card's pretty hot right now. We got the Human Resources, the Tempest, and Fluffle Wings. But uh, that's a really good card to pull. Um, I, I feel like Magic Specters, uh, they're okay right now. They're getting more support in the future, but the new support doesn't compete with, uh, you know, the uh, Pepe deck, the Perform Out. Perform a power, perform mage. That deck is just out of control. So we got the Cobra, the Keeper, the Thief, the Wicked Witch. I actually need to get more of those. Uh, then we got the Sea Turtle Kaiju. I'll uh, set that guy aside. And Grand Horn of Heaven, excellent card. I also, yeah, like I said, I wanted to build um, Kaiju Gradles. I think that that's potentially a really, really sweet build. Uh, so we got Super Soldier Soul, Shuffle Reborn, 
uh, the drum, the Ignite Veteran, Gradle Slime, yes, I needed, I need to get some of those, so I think, I, I'll play, I think, two of those, another Plush Fire, Dark Contract, First Aid, alright, so this is gonna be the 12th pack out of this box, uh, Super Soldier Soul, Magic Spectre Storm, Swirl Slime, Contract Change, Burfomet, ooh, Beginning Night, I haven't seen anyone pull that card, <laughs> and then a Gradle Alligator, so, so far, I think we're pretty much good, I don't, no off the top of my head what the, the Rakuma's worth. I know it was $40 at one point, but, you know, the card prices changed so dang quick in Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, next pack, we got the Drum, we got the Swamp King, that's another Fox, Conductor, Super Soldier Ritual. So maybe we can build that BLS deck. <laughs> I call it on the uh, box, where's the box of it? Um, there's the box. It says, like, Black Luster Soldier returns. Uh, he doesn't really return, let's be honest, man. You compare him to, like, Cosmos, it's like, you're gonna get absolutely wrecked. Alright, Pendulum mechanic just too strong in the game. Alright, put these aside. And next up, we got the Veteran, Turtle, Blade, Rebirth. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, a Secret Rare! Heck yeah, the Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. I actually really wanted this card in Ultimate Rare. We could still technically pull one in Ulti. Uh, I just wanted it because it looks so dang cool. I don't know if the secret's worth more or the ulti's worth more. I want to say the ulti's probably worth more, uh, just because it, it honestly looks so cool. Like it's got like a swirl on it. Well, maybe maybe we'll get one. I'll show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> All right. So next up, we got Soul Claw, Rush Headlong, Wild Vulture, Kaiju Capture Mission, Giant Pear Fish, and then we got the Transport of the Contract and the. DD Svant. I think in our last, uh, like, last, like, one or two episodes of the uh, pack openings, we actually pulled a, uh, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. So that was pretty cool. But not, not ulti, though. Oh, we got another Wicked Witch. Awesome. I feel like that card is short printed. Oh, we got the, the, uh, is that Hell Princess? Oh, it's Help Princess. Oh, I thought I was like, wow, did they actually put Hell on a card? They, they had a, a, uh, like, there was, like, Trial of Hell and or Trial of Nightmares or something like that. They had to change the name. And then there's a card called After Genocide, which actually got its name changed as well. To be more family, fun, and friendly. We got the Mirror Shuffle Reborn. That's oh and this card's actually pretty good, the Shuffle Reborn card. Uh there was a combo with it. Uh I wanna say it was in some crazy machine deck. Ooh, the DDD Duo King. We got the Yada, Yada Grasu. Ooh, the Gradles. Sweet. I think I have one copy of each of uh, the uh Gradles now for a playset. I think there's, is there still like the, uh, I know there's, we got, the, there's the eagle, there's the alligator, and there's like a red one, um, it, or like purple, but anyways, we got Psychic Blade, Grail Split, Despot 06, Conductor, Sp Sphere Karibo, well, that's kind of cool, looks all fluffle wings, and a plush fire, hey, but, uh, we still have a chance to get an ulti, we still have one more ultra we gotta pull, and then maybe like a one more super. Well, that's kind of lost count here. Oh, there's the cobra. It's the cobra. I told you guys it's like purple or pink. Oh, as I saw it was a to toon barrel dragon, man. It got sound right through. Oh, another wicked witch. Barrel dragon. Cosmo Lice or Frightful March. Ignis or Grand Horror of Heaven. Excellent, excellent. All right. But I'm, I'm still like already super excited that we already pulled that, uh, that Magic Spectre card. Uh, Fox, Super Soul Rebirth, Contract, Kirin, Contract, DD, and a Skull Eagle, and Soul Horns. Alright, so we still have, still got that Ultra Rare. I mean, it might not be as good as like the Elm Tier Sailor Man, but, you know, it'll probably be pretty good. I'm feeling this box, man. This is the super special awesome card box. Alright, Magic Spectre. Contract. Ooh, ooh, oh! We got that Black Wing? The new Black Wing support? As or another Ultra Rare. That's pretty good. Better than some of that, like, BLS stuff. I just bought Jet, and we got the contract. But, yeah, we still pull an ulti, I think. Well, it's kind of RNG. Sometimes you get, like, a box against double secrets. It doesn't happen too often, but I don't know, guys. Hopefully. We got the Samurai Drum, the Ignite Veteran, Silk Claw, Pot of the Forbidden, DDD Wave. Ooh, Mana Spectre Cyclone. And then we got the Grail cards. All right. Two more packs. All right, you got the veteran, the wild vulture, psychic blade, rebirth, rate rank up, contract, Franken derp, and a plush fire. Hey, all right, last pack. Let's see what we get. All right, and the double secret, dude. Double secret. Maybe ghost, ghost rare. All right, so you got the super soldier soul. DD contract change. 
Samurai Thief Kaiju Capture Mission, Pendulum Area. Oh dang, it's a bust. We got Grand Horror Heaven. Actually, that that to me that that card is probably gonna be worth more than a lot of the foils out of the set. And then we got like DD Contract Chain, more of the same stuff that we pulled. Let's go and do a recap real quick for our foils. Um, grab all these. Oh my gosh, we got a BLS down. All right, so for our super rares, we got the beginning. Uh, Knight is a BLS support. We got a Match Spectre Cyclone. We uh, got uh, the DD King Duo Don King. We got the. Let's see, we have a super. Oh, we got. Um, oh, I forgot we got that other awesome card. So we got the DDD Wave of Believing King. And this card's really good. The uh, Vector it negates all of your opponent's pendulum stuff. It's. Uh, to me, that card seems a little bit unfair. Like, that card is just absolutely crazy good. But, uh, you know, Power Creep in Yu-Gi-Oh! is real. Uh, and then we got the Magic Spectre... Was it Bunbuku? Bunbuku, yeah. The, um... Uh, the Raccoon. And then we got another Ultra Rare. The, uh... Was it Rekikiri? Raikiri. The Blackwing. The new support. And then we got the... Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon as our secret rare. And then how many Grand Horn of Heaven did we get? We got like three or four, right? Damn, we got four. Four copies of Grand Horn of Heaven. I think this is a excellent common card. So if you see these for like 10 cents at your locals, hey dude, I think picking them up. They're definitely worth like a buck or two. Um, and then we got, how many plush fires do we get in this box? Because this is another really great common. We got three, four, four plush fires. Pretty good. All so, oh, five, five plush fires. And then, uh, I, I still like this card. I, I would prefer just to get the Ultra one, but, um, well, actually, you know, it's, it's a pretty small Ultra Rare as far as price goes, but, uh, overall, not too bad of a box. Pretty much, if we didn't pull Raccoon, I would have said this box was a bust for sure. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. It's been your boy, Will Smith, signing out.